In this video, I want to share with you how the idea for a project gets born from the pages of my technique book. So this looks like just a messy page in my technique book, which it is, but the word spark showed up on the collage that I made. And then on another page, I was, used, I was playing with letter forms and the word reflection came up. So when I needed an idea for a, a booklet that I was putting together to share in a workshop, the words reflection and spark became the inspiration. So I want to share with you how I put this book together. And first of all, let me tell you why I put this book together. I was asked to um, show in a workshop some uh processes for mixed media so uh, it was a group of women who are quilters but they wanted to do a creativity exercise so this mixed media practice of collaging helped them so I sort of put a, a, a visual together that reminded me of fabric and quilting and colors and here is the original uh, collage that I used so I put the book together in InDesign um, and laid it out in InDesign. I put in some examples of collage work, and I started with my story of how I am a teacher, and I work with mixed media, and I wanted to give them some background into uh, create creativity and just being able to experiment. So after I gave them some samples, I wrote up the instructions for them of how I created the collages because I went through the same steps with every collage. I would do some um, um, some quick writing underneath so you could see that there's there's some script underneath. I would lay colors on top of that, and then I would look for imagery to put down on the color on top of the uh, backgrounds that I created. And I might go in afterwards and add more mixed media um, to finish off the collages. So this was created and was used as a little publication. It's also available online. And um, here's a photograph of all the collages that were in the book. After creating um, Reflection and Sparks Volume 1, I came up with Reflection and Sparks Volume 2. And in Volume 2, I worked with a collaboration of, of writers who would get a, an image and then they would draw, uh, they would write a, 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 either a poem or some prose and it would go with the image on the page. So I'm not a writer. But the artwork motivated or inspired artists, I mean, uh, writers, to create from the artwork. So what I did was I got on social media and I connected with people, and I put the artwork of, uh, there available for them to um, to write, and I published the um, second volume, and it was. Available online through uh, Mad Cloud Publishing, which is a self-publishing um, app uh, platform. So they were able to buy copies and share the copies. And what I also did was I scanned the uh, collages that they wrote about and I gave them a print. I did keep the original collages. So I'm sharing this with you because... I have been talking a lot about how mixed media, how the different techniques that we're, we've used in class are fuel for creativity when you do go to uh, complete things computer graphically. I see the computer as a production tool, not so much a creative tool. Um, before I close, I just thought I'd share with you some of the original collages that were included or some may not have been included in uh, the publication but um, collage is a great way for you to put ideas on the page and experiment work with colors uh, find typography find letter forms find uh, phrases 
that you can work with and turn into projects that will help you promote yourself and also could wind up being good portfolio pieces. So that's, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the work I produced from the collages I made.